Compeer's mission is to reduce social isolation, build self-esteem and ultimately improve the quality of life of someone living with a mental illness. The key to our success really is our volunteers. They're the heart and soul of the program and we couldn't do what we do without them. John was originally diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He was diagnosed in his, um, in his mid-twenties. He's now 65, which is my age. It's something he's lived with all of his adult life. And unless you were aware that he had bipolar, it would be really very, very difficult to tell. I think one of the issues that mental illness often comes with a mental illness is isolation and perhaps maintaining long-term friendships for whatever reason as far as uh, mates and you know just catching up and sometimes I think that can sometimes be something that's missing. He's got a great sense of humor. He's got a fantastic sense of humor. In many ways, I think we're very, very similar, although we're very, very different. You know, we come from very, very different backgrounds. I think we're very, very similar in many, many ways. We really want to see the stigma around mental illness reduced in the community. And through volunteers um, befriending someone with uh, mental health difficulties, they, they learn those um, you know, fundamentals of this person is just like anyone else. You know, they have hopes and dreams and goals and attitudes and beliefs and they have people that they care about as well. So um, there's so much more to, to people than just their mental illness. I'm very, very fortunate to have John as a friend. Compere is a part of the St Vincent de Paul Society which operates in around 150 countries and has nearly one million members worldwide. People with a mental illness like anyone else, they, they need people that care about them, they need um, support, um, they need friendship. I know that if I didn't have any friends my life would be quite empty. So obviously I think this is something very um, simple but very profound. John was a glazier and he worked with a number of glass companies around Sydney and the area uh, over the many, many years. I think our friendship is really, well, on a very practical level, it's just introduced me to parts of Sydney and, you know, of my own city and things that we do that I just, you know, uh, I, I just wouldn't normally have the opportunity to do. You know, you tend to take, visit your city when you have visitors in town. But now, with John and I, we have done regular little excursions. John does a great marinara, and he gave me a recipe for marinara. Yeah. But the recipe was right from scratch, and I, I can make a marinara. I can buy a marinara mix, and I put in a bottle of sauce that I picked up at the supermarket, but John doesn't. John does it right from scratch. And I tell you, that marinara dish just tastes sensational. Before I started this program, I had never really known anybody with a mental illness. And so I didn't really know much about bipolar. I didn't know much about schizophrenia. And I guess I didn't really know much about depression. And those are kind of the three main illnesses or issues that people uh, involved with this computer program have. We don't expect our volunteers to, to come into the program um, knowing all about mental health issues, knowing you know, um, what they're going to need to know to, to be a Compeer volunteer. So obviously we do do at least a full day of training um, which covers topics like mental health, um, building friendships, communication, um, what their role is as a volunteer, what to do if you run into difficulties and obviously there's a lot of support if that does happen. Um, so yeah, we, we want to make sure that our volunteers feel quite able to 
head off into their match um, equipped um, with the, the tools and skills that they need. And it's just very, very professional in the way they approach the education of the volunteers. Compi's support is amazing. Um, I've worked with other organisations as a volunteer and none compares. And then obviously as, as volunteers go out into the community and talk amongst their own networks about what they do in Compi, then we hope that that sort of trickles down into our community and, and people's um, myths and stereotypes around mental illness are, are slowly but surely starting to change. I think that's why the program's so good because it kind of allows them to realise that they don't have to be isolated, that there are people that are, like, are happy to, to be their friend um, and that, yeah, there's, they, like, they shouldn't have to be isolated from everyone else because there's no need to. John does enjoy art. In fact, the reason that we went to the art gallery in the first place was that he could show me some of the early Australian art. So it starts off as a quite intentional friendship that is matched by Compi, but over time as people spend time together and get to know each other, um, yeah, it can often become a, a genuine and special friendship for both parties. We've certainly developed that kind of a rapport and understanding and friendship that I think could be very, very endearing and I would certainly hope that even if it wasn't within the framework of Compeer, that our friendship would just continue. I've gained from this relationship an ability to listen and patience. I've gained knowledge, I've gained enjoyment, and I've gained a friend. If someone's interested in volunteering for Compeer, they should just jump online, find out a little bit more about the program, and there are people also waiting to take your call um, to guide you through the next steps. It doesn't take much to make a difference in someone's life.